at the famous arch alongside the mighty Mississippi in St. Louis. Today in the Trans World Dome, more than 65,000 will watch the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship. The unbeaten Wildcats of Kansas State taking on Texas A&M. Welcome to the big time. If the Aggies get a return, it'll be an upset. Hello, touchback. So Brandon Stewart, nine on Stewart, second down and ten. Dante Hall cut back beautifully in the carpet. There's that Aggie speed, and he picks up eight and almost nine yards before Mark Simino makes the stop now here for RC and the staff. And they keep it on the ground with Toombs again, who is stacked up and did not get the first down. So they sent in two wide receivers as substitutes. McDonald steps to the outside. It is the three wide out package. Here's Lockup with all that speed. Soft corner, first down, 49 yard line. Bishop just looks up, Dan, and sees. Here's Bishop's short drop. Now he pulls back deeper, waiting for someone to clear. Lockup well covered. Back to the other side, doing fumble. Loose ball. Aggies got it. Recovered at the 23-yard line by Jason Webster, number 39. Justin Swift turns it over. Fifth game, second one to be played in St. Louis. Here is the flea flicker. Back Stewart's hit on the release, and it's intercepted by Kelly. Kelly's got it at the 23 for the Wildcats. The great defense. Now, K-State does a pretty good job with a turnover margin, too. They have a plus 18 on the year. The pressure from the left side by Monty Beisel. And there's the interception. But Stewart had a man deep in the secondary. If he defense is too quick when they try to go wide. Best watch Mr. Bishop sprinting out of the shotgun. Fumble puts it on the carpet. His knee is down. He is down at the 31-yard line. So here comes Autumn. Watch the tango. Hunter puts it down. Hello, scoreboard. Here he comes, baby. Go get him, Martin. The outside. K-State shows a bump. Probably going to bring pressure. Here it comes. Kelly looking for an alley. Down to the middle. Incomplete. And no penalty flag. And that was Jared Cooper, their outstanding strong safety, who came up over the top. As uh, first down and 10. The computers will be worn tonight. Here's Butler, short drop, pump fake down to the middle, got Swift again to the 21-yard line. Beautiful pump fake. Five minutes for Texas A&M as well. Yeah, and the Wildcats making mistakes. Now Bishop's got a wide open man, the tight end, Swift, touchdown! K-State, 16 yards. point yet this year he is sick they'll try him again they'll sprint him to the side he's got the first down you gotta stick with him 37 now let's see you know Brent and Butler the corner not much of a match over there was he folks they're gonna keep running huge hole Dante at midfield Dante the Aggies on his shoulders to the 39-yard line, a burst of 23. He's in. Brinkley a wide out. They're going to run Parker. Cuts back under the hole. Got a 20. Got the speed. 15 from behind at the 9-yard line. Butler saving a touchdown. I have been trying to make a game of it at the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship. Here's Dante. Is short and it brings up fourth and goal down by 10. Decision for Slocum and the staff right now. Al Lednicki, the long snapper. And the Aggies are on the scoreboard. 11 minutes to go, and meanwhile, when this and 10, here's the bishop on the drop. Everybody covered, so he just pulls it back and waits and now goes long and got his big player receiver. Touchdown. 
66 yards. Let the celebration begin in the Little Apple. Chip is perfect throwing the ball. 130 yards and two touchdowns. Gramatica adds the extra point. And the one. So out of the doghouse comes Chris Cole to make a play for the Aggies, and it's a bit going to Tempe and the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl where they'll play for the title. Sir Parker breaks away from a tackle on a cutback, and he plows powerfully to the 30. Dante Hall, first down beautifully on that cutback, explodes, and he rolls close to the five-yard line. The one thing that Snyder and the Wildcat finish. Play fake, Stewart on a roll. Not very fast, and he was eaten up by Jared Cooper. The strong safety. One of the best in the land. They had too many men on the field, and now quickly sprinting off is Seth McKinney. is two of two. K-State <laughs> leads it 17-6. Let's bring in John Saunders and Todd Blackledge. John. 30 minutes of playing time away for receiver, and it is third and seven for Bishop and the Wildcats. Bishop, after his first incompletion, comes back and hits McDonald first down. Just beyond the first down marker, Michael Bishop. Now, when you look at Bishop, Tennessee to play against Mississippi State tonight, and Florida State hoping for still another upset. Bishop fires, intercepted, picked off by Datwin, who dropped back on the zone coverage, and the great linebacker is out of bounds and saves the moment for the Aggies. Datwin, one of the great effort youngsters to ever come along in this one like that. Oh, no. First down, and here is Stewart, hit on the release, and it is grabbed by Taylor. What a grab, penalty flag comes flying. Chris Taylor somehow came out of that. Personal foul, face mask on the defense. Half the distance to the goal and an automatic. First right side is off to the right. Slashes and uh, stuffed right there on a cutback. Right at the goal line, Semino and Chapman step into the hole for the Wildcats. As noise as they possibly can. Straight ahead into the end zone for the Aggies. Touchdown! Jamar Toombs. Remember the name, folks. Number 28, Toombs, with a great future down there in Aggie Land. Out of kill. This is for two points in the conversion. Slant, got it. Parker, short of the goal line. Chapman makes a great tackle for the Wildcats. But the Aggies scored the intercepted by that win. Roll right. Fire back across the field to a wide open McDonald. First down at the 47-yard line, and there wasn't a defensive back on St. Louis. Here's that option. He's going to pitch it to Hickson, and great play on the outside by the Aggies. Cornelius Anthony and a rich Gramatica, a 45-yarder, and almost blocked. Just good. Under fierce pressure. Martin Grimaldi. Stewart trying to straighten things out. He's got five seconds on that clock. Fires. Taylor got it. Yanks it away to the 35-yard line. And on third down and 11, Brandon. First down and 10 for the Aggie. Stewart. Howard's got him. Slips away. Fumble. State McIntosh has got it. A great play by Darren Howard, who again 
comes across and penetrates the line of scrimmage and forces the quarterback into an emergency. It's Michael Bishop and the Wildcats from the 49-yard line. Deep drop. Bishop to the middle. Got McDonald again at the 29-yard line for a first down. 20 more yards for Darnell McDonald receiving today. Base runner spray on it. Five for 125 yards for McDonald. Bishop got one. Here's oh Lockett takes a belt at the five and hangs on. The freshman wide out. It's first and goal. Twenty. Here's first and goal for the five. Quarterback draw. Bishop slips free. Reaches end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. No one since the days of Charlie Ward in Tallahassee. Seconds left in the third quarter. Gramatica again has not missed an extra point this season. Still has it. On the road to the title game at the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship. Timeout. The Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship game in St. Louis. Both. Of the cornerbacks, tight defense. They go one on one, wide open as one slips, and there's Taylor. And it is Cooper who saves the touchdown. He comes off the angle from his safety position. Is he's having a great day, isn't he? <laughs> That's good and after it, Jack. <laughs> They're down at 11. Stewart, pump fake, back down to the middle, and got Taylor again. Now, Taylor has been their big time receiver today. That's a first down on a 14 yard day. Like I said, when you're good, you're also lucky. And there they snap it off to Derek Spiller for another first down. The tight end. Brandon Stewart going right side. High. Got it. Touchdown. Texas A&M. Leroy Hodge, the junior flanker. 13 yards for the score. And his first catch of the game is a big one for A&M. Well, you... And I guess I'm only puzzled by the sequencing that I've watched the Aggies do with their two. Lockett comes in motion, and Bishop will take it back. Step up. Can he run for the 10? No. Down at the 39-yard line. Bradley. Pence will try to get it back. The Aggies down by eight. And Stewart to the middle. Got a completion. They bail him out as he does finally find the middle, and that is the see. Here's Stewart from the middle, got it all wide open again, and Spiller rolls inside the 20 to the 16-yard line. Butler finally bringing him down, and Spiller. Dante Hall and three wideouts. Play fake and nothing doing. Sacked at the 25 yard line. Jeff Kelly. And Stewart. Short drop deflected. K State ball. They're 326 away from playing for the championship as Damian McIntosh, number 77, deflects the forward pass. Yeah. Looking at a third and six. They've got a timeout left. They want the ball back. Want to force the punt. Bishop will try to run for it. Bishop, the ball! It is a first down. Aggies have got it. Bishop fumbles. Cornelius Anthony wraps it up. Sideline for Bishop. Now he is walking away. Stewart got one on one. Goes low. Caught at the 14-yard line. Bumgarner makes his first catch of the game. Top of it. And here is your third and five from the nine yard line. Short drop, got Parker, slant, got it, touchdown! Two points away from a tie at the 105 mark of regulation. That was the same play they tried to make on the last two-point conversion. Parker stays in the game. Toombs is offset to the right. 
And Stewart's the quarterback. Hodge is in the slot, and now Parker will join him in motion. Stewart's got him in. He's got him. It's tied with 105 to go. But on that other sideline, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget Martin Gramatic to overtime. Unless. Here's Bishop. Sprinting out of trouble, going to throw it deep down the middle. Got his receivers clustered. Jump ball. Loose cut, but over. Cut short of the goal line. But the game ends. As Everett Burnett, a St. Louis youngster, pulls it down. But two yards. Stewart, Dante Hall, the running back for the Aggies. Fake, middle, got it. Spiller, first down at the seven yard line. It's first and goal for the set. Simpsons on the right wing. Dante Hall dashes back, cuts, spins, twists, and he is stopped right at the goal line, just short of it. Lamar Chapman, number one in there. And, and now, decision time. Puts three on the board. Kansas State, they win. First down for Michael Bishop. Lockett's his motion receiver on the end around. Lockett sprints free, and Lockett pushed out of bounds, but it's a first down for K-State at the 14 as Cedric Kirk. Dixon's the running back. Gets the call. Right side barrels to the six-yard line. And now, K-State is six of the offensive formation. Bishop runs in that direction, and the door closes. He's short of the first down. And let's see now if Gramatica is called on to send this into a second over. The punter, James Garcia, the holder. And we play on. Slocum's Texas A&M Aggies. Short drop, fade, in zone. Complete. The intended receiver was Darnell McDonald. And it has come to Gramat. Three of three. Played one year of high school football in Florida. Nails another one. And Kansas State goes ahead in the second overtime by three. So Blitz. Stewart got one on one, got pulled high. Incomplete. No penalty. And it will be third and 12 as Stewart has a slot to his left. Using Parker in motion, and Butler takes him. They'll look for Parker on a quick hit. Parker, cuts back, 10, 5, in zone, out of bounds. Touchdown, touchdown, got it. Touchdown, the Aggies upset Kansas State. Sir Parker, and ladies and gentlemen, it was close down there in the corner. He was reaching for the pylon as they were pushing him out.